Smolny College of uh, Arts and Sciences is a unique collaboration between, or I should say, unfortunately was, a unique collaboration between Bard College and St. Petersburg State University. So back in June, just two weeks before the students in Smolny were going to celebrate their graduation, the Russian prosecutor declared Bard an undesirable organization, which constituted a threat to the Russian constitutional order. And that makes any collaboration with Bard a felony under Russian law. And that was later refer, affirmed by the Russian Justice Ministry. Why did they do it? Um, nobody knows exactly. Russia is not exactly a transparent political system. But everybody agrees there's context. The global context is worsening U.S.-Russian relations and increasing authoritarianism and illiberalism within Russia. Yeah, I think the implications are baleful for collaborations of this deep and really productive nature going forward in Russia. They're bad, but I think both from the, from the Russian side, for those within Russia who cherish this idea of a liberal arts education, and also for any institution in the United States that might be inclined to try to follow Bard's model. Now, it's important to recognize that Bard, though it was the first to kind of initiate this liberal arts college idea within Russia, it wasn't the last. And some Russian institutions themselves have created liberal arts colleges or liberal arts programs within them. So even if this, this decision is irrevocable uh, and it, won't be, it will be a long time before Bard can, uh, can, uh, can perhaps re reinstate this, this, this initiative, it did leave these lasting seeds within Russia, perhaps seeds feared by the Russian government of the liberal arts approach to education. But the bottom line is, for the foreseeable future, I cannot imagine another major U.S. institution attempting anything like what Bard tried to do with this initiative. I think this wonderful initiative, truly something to have been cherished, is a victim of U.S.-Russian relationships rather than the cause of anything. So that deterioration in the U.S.-Russian relations, if it continues, is going to render programs such as this uh, very, very difficult. Indeed, you could think of a uh, Liberal arts is kind of like a canary, if I can use an overused phrase, a canary in the cold mine. Liberal arts has a hard time flourishing in an illiberal society. It is moving ever more in an authoritarian direction. And, uh, and what's particularly concerning about the U.S.-Russian rivalry is this idea of subversion, fears of subversion on both sides. We're afraid of Russian government subversion of American elections and our social media space. The government in Moscow, for its part, claims to be terrified of civil society and non-governmental organizations within Russia that they claim are undermining Russia's system. They've banned some 40 other organizations as undesirable, Bard being the only educational one banned so far. So one way to think about this is as long as Putin and the Kremlin are terrified of Bard College, they see Bard as a threat to their constitutional order, then we have scant hope uh, for a particularly flourishing educational ecosystem between the two countries.